how to do SMS marketing for your Shopify store. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can add an SMS uh, marketing to your Shopify store by using OmniSend. So OmniSend is a web service that allows you to create marketing campaigns uh, with multi-channel uh, campaigns. So like the app name omnisend.com, it sends uh, omni uh, channel uh, marketing to your customers and that includes SMS marketing. So let's get started. Now the first thing that you want to do is to go to omnisend.com and uh, do the you know the uh, registration and etc. It's very straightforward. And the next thing that you want to do is to make sure you log in or sign up using your Shopify account. And uh, that way you will be redirected directly to uh, Shopify.com and to your store. And you fill out your store name and then uh, install the app on Shopify store. Uh, just look for OmniSend in the Shopify App Store over here. Click Add Apps on the bottom left and Shopify App Store and find OmniSend and you'll find the app over there. The, uh, it is, uh, it's not, it doesn't seem to be uh, visible over here, but you should be redirected to uh, an OmniSend app once you have done logging in uh, to OmniSend with your Shopify account. Okay, so the first thing that you will see is this dashboard right here. Now I log in with an email that I made specifically for this tutorial. So the first thing I wanna uh, review is the campaigns because campaigns are the project, basically the your advertising campaign project. And in that campaign, you can do uh, a lot of the uh, ad actual emails and uh, SMS. So let's create a campaign. So the first thing that you can do is an email campaign. Now I highly recommend you to do a heat an email campaign for uh, your Shopify store because with OmniSend you have a feature called the automations and it's very great. It's a very good way to earn money and to uh, be engaged and keep your engagement with your customers. So I'm gonna explain to you uh, later on. You can uh, set in your uh, subject line. You can uh, even create, uh, get, generate a subject line using AI. So let's say for example, free shipping over here and they will, uh, and OmniSend will actually uh, create a subject line for you over here using AI. So, but, and you can also add like you, uh, your, the, uh, your contact's name, uh, it's surname, city, country, you know, maybe like you wanna add to only in, in contact city, maybe like in Toronto or, or et cetera. So you can also do that. The sender's name is your name. You wanna, maybe you wanna put it like the, your store's admin or like your name. Uh, whatever. So let's say, for example, my store admin. And then the email address, you can select the email address uh, from the, your list of emails. But in this case, I'm just going to do shared uh, OmniSend email. So I'm going to use my OmniSend email over here. And then uh, you can also add a preheader. Now, the preheader, I like to make it like, for example, uh, don't, don't miss out on our free shipping maybe and the preheader and then the campaign name you can say uh first email um you know the uh acquisition maybe so there you go so that's how you create an email template let's choose an email template for us now the great thing about omnisend is that they have a lot of templates for emails for sms especially if you're based in the us you can also add jeff's to your sms i'll show you later on but as you can see they have a lot of beautiful email uh, templates that you can choose and this will instantly make your uh, marketing uh, your email marketing look professional and um will generate a lot of uh clicks so let's use this template over here because i like it uh, okay so once you've chosen your email template you can uh, do a lot of stuff here uh, and it's very fluid so as you can see if you click a block over here you can uh, move it 
uh, down or up there you go it's very easy and you can uh, add uh, elements to your email from the library over here in the left you can add a quick add text video uh, image button over here discount you can add a discount also like you can add it over here so choose it uh, just drag and drop it wherever you want and maybe add like a discount code for example over here and add a pre-header safe layouts your saved items the header over here you can add headers over here so let's say to the top and make your email more like comprehensive let's say so next is the email body the product listing image gallery so there are a lot of things that you can add to your email right and that is how you uh, do your email you can also send test email to your account you can preview it I'm gonna preview it right now because you can preview uh, and uh, if it's viewed from and uh, the web or mobile so just make sure that you optimize both views because obviously you will have customers looking at uh, like checking their email from their phone so make sure that uh, it looks good both uh, from the web or from your their phone so let's save and choose recipients over here now the recipients will be your contact list now I don't have my contact list right now and I'm going to show you how we can add a contact list uh, later on. So let's review a campaign. Now in the review and confirm you can see you can have the uh, option to add campaign booster, uh, the settings and the recipients. Now let's just save and close for now and I'm going to show you how you can add the contact. So contact is actually an audience so if you want to add a contact of course you want to add a a subscription form right now to add your contacts just go to forms and let's see launch form over here now you want to add this to your website or your sms so for example this is the uh this is the I believe this is the like the section type form or the pop-up form so once the customer is interested in your uh, to join your mailing list your subscriber like of course you uh, add a very catchy uh, catchy call to action over here get 10% off your first order by just filling it the the email over here so once they filled in their email over here and you you and they click it they will be added automatically to your audience list and omni send so um and that's how you uh, add a subscription right you can set a lot of things uh like some very similar to the email library list on the left you can add a lot of things in your uh call to action like your pop-up and you can also add scheduling so scheduling is always show the form or like uh, this is your start and end date maybe in your website and the display the scheduling uh, the targeting the visibility so the visibility you can set it to mobile only or uh, desktop only frequency so let's you can also limit your form appearance and you can start a b testing your form to see whichever is the best so uh, okay so let's go back to our email and campaign and you can click uh, once you're done just click enable and once it's enabled you can uh, so you can add them to your website by going to the uh, edit and let's just let's find the let's find okay so let's click settings to look at the data customization but uh, you will be able to find uh, the option uh, of the website uh, code to add to your uh, website so that's how you uh, create a form okay so next is the uh, audience once you found the audience uh, and then after you create an email marketing 
you can add, set up your uh, automation. So this is the real deal in OmniSend. Uh, you can see the one of the example is abandoned checkout automation. So the first email is sent one hour after customer starts their checkout. This is to uh, make sure that they are not forgetting their orders. So, okay, so let's go to the actual uh, SMS campaign. So let's click our campaign in the campaign menu. And uh, this is an email campaign, right? Now we want an SMS campaign. So let's add a campaign. Let's create campaign and create an SMS campaign. This is very similar to the email campaign. You can uh, set up your campaign name, the sender's name, message text, and etc. Just make sure that your campaign name is catchy. So uh, this is maybe acquisition SMS, acquisition SMS. And the sender's name, maybe like uh, our, like your store. And the message text, just create a very catchy message text like, uh, hey, how's it going maybe? To, uh, this is very like, uh, this is very like um, a generic way of like sending texts, right? Also, and you can also add their name, their email from their, from their contact information. You have your preview for your US or CA recipients or your non-US uh, CA recipients. So yeah, that's how you create your SMS, uh, your SMS uh, campaign. So yeah. And once you go to next step, uh, next step you can either uh, send test or uh, set up the recipient uh, contacts in the next step. So yeah, that's how you do the SMS campaign and also email campaign on OmniSend. Uh, just be sure to check the reports. This is the last thing that you want to do maybe to find out what works and what doesn't work and also uh, find uh, how find out how you can improve on your marketing now that is how you can uh, enhance your Shopify store uh, performance by adding the email and uh, SMS messages uh, campaign but the, the thing that I highly recommend you to do is to uh, do the automation over here to do the automation uh, as you can see it uh, it is consists of uh, workflows and uh, it, it's very similar if, like when you're trying to structure out a Zapier uh, Zapier uh, workflow so just uh, they have triggers actions and uh, split and a B testing so that's how you create your uh, workflows you can also have a, a you can also see a template of workflows i believe so when you click create workflow you can have a lot of template over here now this is free money because uh, of course the more optimized your website is the better the performance will be okay so that is all for me thank you